The first thing you do to install your brand new washing machine is you unscrew the shipping bolts. On the majority of the modern washing machines, you just unscrew them with the wrench that comes with the machine. I had some complications with the shipping, also called transit bolts, of this particular Guranium model. You can see the full video on how to remove transit bolts of this washing machine following the link in the description of this video. Hope it makes someone's life easier. Then you have to install the water supply hose, one end to the washer, the other with the water filter to the water shut off valve. These plastic hoses don't require any additional tools to get them installed. You can do it with your hand. Make sure the water is off. Take the compression cap off the valve, if you have one, and install the other side of the hose. Then install the drain hose by simply connecting it to the drain outlet. Keep in mind that basic vibration can loosen the connection. That's why it's better to use a hose clamp. For this one you'll need a screwdriver, for this one you'll need pliers. Both type of clamps you can find following the links in the description of this video. Then we have to level our washing machine to enhance the efficiency and extend the lifespan of our washer. Using the same wrench that comes with the washer, first turn the front leveling feet counterclockwise to lower the feet or clockwise to raise the feet. Then do the same with the back leveling feet. Usually, regulating only one of the front and one of the back feet is enough. When the washer stands even, slowly open the water valve, checking if there is no leakage. Don't open the valve till the end, it helps the valve serve a bit longer. Plug the washing machine in and enjoy your laundry course. Check allowmatehome.com for more of useful information. Thank you for watching.